If you've ever done a lot of soldering, then you're probably familiar with the Helping Hands tool. This is a pretty useful setup, but it's limited to very small projects. So, I decided to build a bigger and stronger version for working with larger projects. To build this, the only materials that you'll need are a floor lamp with posable arms and a set of spring clamps. First, we need to disassemble the lamp stand. Start by removing the knob and the nut that are holding the switch in place. Then, unscrew this section from the base of the stand. At this point, I was able to just pull the pieces apart and expose the wires. The individual wires were connected with crimp-on connector caps, so I used a pair of pliers to squeeze the cap in the opposite direction as the crimp. This loosened them enough to remove them. Separate all the wires and pull the main power cord out through the base of the stand. Now you need to remove the lamp assembly. Start by taking out the light bulb. Then, unscrew the large plastic nut at the bottom of the fixture. This will let you remove the outer cover. Next you need to remove the light socket. If you're lucky, it will just unscrew. But on my lamp, the fixture was so tight that I had to use a pair of tin snips to cut away the base of the cover so that I could get a good grip on it with pliers. Eventually, I got all the light sockets removed. Now you're ready to attach the clamps. To connect them to the arms of the lamp, I decided to reuse the mounting hardware that was holding the lights in place. So, I drilled a hole in each clamp that was the same size as the fitting. Then, I inserted the fitting through the hole and screwed them onto the arm of the lamp. Repeat this to attach each additional clamp. The last step is to reassemble the body of the stand. You should just be able to screw them back together in the opposite order that you took them apart. Now you have a heavy-duty helping hands tool. You can use it to hold whatever you need. You can hold your tools, a flashlight, your instructions, or even a cold drink. Use your imagination. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.